is time for all of us to talk about makeup, how to look fabulous, Diwali parties, festivities, and for that, I want to call on the stage celebrity makeup artist, the man who does magic with his makeup, Daniel Bauer. It's my skin, I choose to wrap it up. It's my face, I choose to do it up. Because I want my eyes to speak, Hello. my lips to pray. Hello. Hello. How are you, Daniel? I'm good, very good. Thank all right, Daniel, first of all, we just talked about trends, which we plan to set now. But let me be asking you, since you are this pro when it comes to makeup trends, what are some of the key makeup trends for the current season? Basically, what can I wear to the next Diwali party? So basically, like me, Fashion Week just happened two weeks ago. Um, the looks that I've been doing or that I've been seeing is all about shimmer, pigments, glitter, it's all bringing that glam factor back into the face in the eyeshadow. The skin is dewy and fresh and highlighted. And so basically it's all about glamour and looking sexy. Wonderful. You know, you know what, Daniel? Every year there's either a lip moment or an eye moment, right? And every single season what, what, what we have heard is make it only about the eyes or make it only about your lips. What is that now? Is there a lip and an eye differentiation for the season? It's, no, it's both. You can, you can work it on the eyes, you can work it on the lips. So it's, it's, it comes all together. So it's nothing specific. Eyes or lips. Everything goes. Everything, goes. Everything works. Got it. All right. Started walking for Lakme first, and now she's walking all over the globe for international designers in Milan, in New York, in Paris. And um, she cut her hair off, and she looks absolutely stunning. So we're all proud of her. Let me welcome Kiran Deep. It's my skin, I just to wrap it up. It's my face, I just to do it up. Cause I want my face to How are you? I'm good. Kiran, you look absolutely you. stunning. Oh my God, just look at this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just look at this. Stunning. Thank you. What fabulous look are we giving Kiran today? So I'm going to be doing today, um, going to recreate the look which, is, which I done for people at the grand finale. Um, everybody loves this look. It's a brown kind of smoky eye and with a little extra shimmer, which I'm going to be showing you how to make it pop. I have little time. I have not much, so I'll be focusing on the eye. As you can see, my skin is prepped. I use the perfect um, radiant serum from Lakme and the luminous, the luminous skin tint. So just to give that extra sheen, and glossiness. The face is contoured, a little highlighter, and I'm going to be going right into the eye makeup. So I'm going to be starting with the gel paint. I'm going to use the bedazzled brown. I'm going to create a nice little swash on the eyelids and create that smokiness. This product is really nice. It's really smooth. You can build it up. And it looks good on everybody, especially this color, the bedazzled brown. So as you can see, I'm going all over the eyelid. And then I'm just blending it out. It's also very easy to blend. So I'm just creating a smokiness. I'm letting it sit a little bit and set. And I'm going on to the other eye. So you can see it's very easy to blend and very smooth the texture and has the glitter in it. And then I'm just using a blending brush and I'm blending it upwards and outwards. Would a brown smoky eye be the new black smoky eye? Um, no, a brown smoky eye, <laughs> not a black eye. So I'm, what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to um, go over it again just to intensify that. So this product is buildable, which is really nice and gives you more payoff when you go over it. And now I'm blending it out again. So I'm doing that on the lower lash line as well. I'm just creating the same thing. You can see how easy it is. I don't, it's not hard to blend. And the important thing for smoky eyes is that it looks blended. Otherwise, it looks harsh. So this product is really amazing because I can just blend it easily. Mm. Um, I'm going to use a coal 
the iconic coal, one of my favorite products. So this coal is really nice. If you let it sit, it, gets, it, it sets in and it won't smudge. But if you're fast enough at the beginning, you can really smudge it nicely. So I'm just going along the lash line, the upper lash line, creating a line. It doesn't have to be accurate. It can be quite broad. And I'm just smudging it with a brush. And I'm blending it outwards. Basically like a smudge liner. And the same I'm gonna be doing on the bottom. I'm gonna use the coal in the waterline. People always think if you use a coal in the waterline, it makes the eye look smaller. But if we smudge it, it actually opens up the eye and makes it bigger. That is such a fast and easy looking smoky eye. Daniel, what would you team this with for the mouth? Would it be a nude mouth or a pop of red or pink? What would happen then? For brown smoky for this look, because the, the focus is all around the eyes, I keep the lips a little neutral. Definitely. So. I'm now just going to intensify it with a little bit of a brown eyeshadow. If it glows. Love it. And I'm just going in the outer corner, just blending that in a little bit. And I'm pulling it out just to give that a little stronger look. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so now to the fun part. I'm gonna go in with a, with a sunset gold. It's an eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to use it as an underbase just to bring, just to build up the gold and the shimmer. It's like a metallic. So I'm going to go in the inner corners because that always looks nice to pop the inner corners. And you can see it's really easy to apply, it's very smooth again. So that's a, I'm going to go. Underneath. Also, a great color payoff. What I yes. love is that deep, rich brown. It's just, you know. So I'm going to go great also color underneath the eyebrow just to lift it up a little bit. In the inner corners. And I'm going to go a little bit on the lower lash line basically outside and I'm just going to create a little sheen here. Basically I want that, that the eye is in focus in every angle and that the eye is the hero. So I'm highlighting it all around it. Lovely. And I'm going to blend it a little bit now out on the temples. All right. So now I'm going to use the gel paint, the shimmering gold dust, just to give a different pop. I always think like it gets more dimensional if you use um, different tones of highlighter. So it's not just one, it's different tones, different shimmers, so it really blends and gives you a little bit more of a dimensional feel. So you've got brown, you've got gold. Yes, and, and now it's, a, it's a different type. Gold also comes in an antique gold and a in a more lighter gold, so I'm blending it all in so it looks a little bit more dimensional, basically. Something you know, while like we are getting all of this done, and you will be tired of me saying this to you over and over, but please bear with me, because I am trying to make this world record happen, so please take your eye makeup off, and it has to be perfectly clean, 
squeaky clean because only then could we win. And I really want this to happen because we'll be part of world history. This room will actually be part of world history, which is absolutely massive. And if you guys win, you will be actually having, sorry, I have to move back. If you guys win, we will be all getting Guinness basically certificates saying that you are part of the world record. And I think that's kind of epic. It really, really is. So what you didn't see, um, I used a little eyeshadow to set it, and now I'm going in again with the same pencil, and um, it just makes it stronger. It gives you more payoff and, make, and brings the shine out more. And I'm going to be finishing it off with lots of mascara, obviously. Always it's very lots important. Of mascara. Smoky eyes, you need a lot of mascara. Yeah. What's that trick that I just read I just read about that you put some powder on your lashes first you and can. then you apply mascara? It just makes them look thicker, thicker and longer. Is yes, that true? Because it puts a layer on and then you can um, go on top of it and it just makes them thicker. So it's like yeah. a primer. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Yes. What is important also, which I've done before, I curled the lashes. So curling the lashes is very important because then it gives you a lift and it opens that up lift, the eye. Yeah. So always curl the lashes before. If you don't, it's very important and it makes the eye look much, much bigger. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom lash line. I'm going to add lots of mascara. Chin down, look at that. Beautiful. All right, and we're just nearly done. I think it's the last few seconds of this beautiful brown smoky eye look, which I totally plan to go and cop tomorrow. So you know how I was just talking to him about black smoky eyes versus brown, and all my life I have done this deep black smoky eye, and I just <laughs> feel like now, um, I just feel like I should lean towards the brown smoky eye because the black was seeming a bit so overpowering a little, yes, after a while. It's always a little harsher. Brown always looks nice. Yeah. So if Karen Deep looks a little bit on different angles. The camera. Love you can it. see on the temples, you can see on the inner corners. So basically, it's all around the eye. It's shimmery, so the eye stands out. That Focus looks that. beautiful, Daniel. Thank you. I would like all of you to meet with with my favorite cover girl ever. She is the kind of girl who never has a bad hair day, a bad skin day, a bad, she just looks hot. She just woke up like that, Always. right? <laughs> Please welcome the absolutely wonderful Lisa Hayden. Lisa Hayden, please. Ooh. It's my skin, I just do grab it up. Hello. My face, I just do do it up. Cause I want my eyes to speak and my lips to do it. so good. Hello, everybody. Look at, look at this, guys. I mean, come on, Lisa. Come on. Now, we have to give Lisa the most fabulous look. But we have already seen a little bit of what you've done during the show, right? Yes. So I think we should try something new, something really fresh, a little bit different. Are we all on board here? OK. Let's all do right. this. Cosmic Sparkle. So can I different. have the AV, please? While that was the full-blown glamour cosmic sparkle look, Daniel will be trying a slightly more pared-down, wearable version of it. Correct, Daniel? A little different version. Still yep. strong, but I'm going to use integrate silver, gold, and blue. These are the main colors. Wow, silver, gold, and blue. Right, you ready? <laughs> Seven minutes per eye. Okay. I'm going to start with the Explore Eye Pencil, Alluring Silver. 
and I'm gonna start going in the inner corners. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Yeah. This pencil is really amazing. It has a strong color payoff, as you can see. It pops the eye straight away. This side and this side. Again, I'm gonna be building up this look. Okay. Nice, and I'm gonna go. The, basically, silver is going in first into the inner corners of the eye, which is nice. So I'm gonna use the um, the iPod in Champagne Rain. I'm gonna go over it and I'm blending it all upwards. I'm doing this on both sides. I'm just taking the gel paint again, which is really nice and blendable as you can see. And I'm, I'm just going all out there and bringing it all up. This is a very strong look, so all right, so we're gonna go on with the gold now. I'm just gonna blend the gold into the silver. Again, I'm blending it all the way up. And I'm gonna use it as an underbase as well, just to create a stronger payoff. I'm going up till the eyebrow bow. I'm blending it all the way up. I'm doing this on both sides. This is more of a metallic color, and then I'm going to add a little bit more of a glitter. Okay. Very nice. So now I'm going to go in with the glittering gold dust. Just to make it a little bit more brighter. Again, as you can see, it starts popping. The color payoff is really strong, and you can see a lot of sheen and shimmer in it. So I'm going to use now the Explore Eye Pencil in yeah. Darling Blue, which is also metallic, which is very strong. I'm going to use it like basically an eyeliner. I'm going to be smudging it out with a blending brush. And do the same on the other side. I'm going to go in now with the blue orchid, the eyeshadow stick, again to create different shades, bring out the shimmer a little bit more. Yeah. I feel if you combine products, in the right way, it just gives you more payoff and can just make it look much stronger. And it's all fun, right? You need to play around with your products and um, explore them, mix them. I'm gonna go in now with the smoking, no, the smoking glam. And as you can see, it sparkles quite a bit. So now I'm just going to be smoking it up a little bit with a liner just to make it a little bit more stronger and a little bit more sharper and a little bit more glamorous. Always very, very close to the lash line. I'm and going then along blended. the lash line and I'm just blending it out again. It makes such a difference just adding that little coal at the end. That's very, very nice. So now, it's almost done. I'm just gonna add the mascara again for the um factor. This is, this is the grand finale with the lashes of mascara. The I, yeah, Daniel, I yeah. usually apply two coats. Do you do three coats or four coats or five coats? Um, or no, it depends. Two, two is enough. Otherwise, it starts getting clumpy. So Got yeah, it. two coats is, is the best. A nice little lipstick. Like me absolute blush more. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. It was big lips. <laughs> that elongated eye with the blue. So <laughs> what I'm picking up on is silver here, blue here, and gold there, yes. right? Yes. That's absolutely fabulous. I'm also going to ask Kiran Deep to come back on stage so we can all get one quick photo. Well, Daniel? Sure. What are you coming with? <laughs> Why? Because I'm so small. OK. Let me hide the papers. <laughs> Oh,